this is ET with another tutorial and today's tutorial is about how to get around this weakness with the titles so if you want to put a title in iMovie you're kind of limited to the selection that they give you usually top right center top left bottom right center but you know you can't really put it wherever you want there's a little bit of hacking you can do to you know put extra spaces to kind of move it to the right move to the left but um, there's a simpler, simpler? There's a complex, but simpler way to do it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create the title that we want in an, in an image editing program like Pixelmator, and then we're gonna import that into the movie, and we can drop that thing wherever we want. So if you're interested in knowing how to do that, keep watching. Let's get into it. First thing we're gonna do is open up Pixelmator, and Pixelmator is probably one of the best cheapest photo editing solutions for um for the old io not ios for mac os and i had actually ios it's on the um ipad uh, about one layer right now so i'm gonna add another layer then i'm gonna just put some text on it what i'm gonna do also is delete the back layer and i have text so let's do um hi and we'll make it a color that's probably gonna show up better on on the old video let's do I think probably whites the safest way to safest bet okay so now you can't see it really good but if I um let's see what can I do here I can make it disappear let me change the background color real quick to can't see my oh here we go. We'll change the background. Oh, it's a black, I guess. Put that in there. Bam. Okay, now if we move that on top and we turn it on, we have high. But I don't care about the background. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. So what we're gonna do is turn that off. And we and uh turn off this one here. So we have a transparent. You'll know Woo! Control Z, Command Z. Let me undo that. You'll notice that it's um, transparent because you got the checkerboard looking stuff. And that pretty much in any, almost any uh, screen editing, picture editing program, it's, it tells you that this is going to be transparent. So what I want to do is I don't need it this big. I'm going to just crop around it so it won't be that big. And now I have this image. I'm going to export it as a PNG, which is the most important thing to make, make sure that it actually maintains its transparency. Hi. And we'll go ahead and save that to our desktop. Okay, so now I'm gonna close this program out. I'm not gonna bother to actually save the original, but if you wanted to, you could. And I'm gonna open up iMovie. So this is where it gets cool, where you can work around the, the limitations of iMovie. And it's almost like Final Cut Pro, but you don't have to spend the $299 to do it. So, let me go into a project. I was already messing with it earlier. So let me delete all this stuff. And I'm gonna import, let me see some video I can import. I'll just import the old chicken. Put that down here. Okay, now we got footage. I'll go ahead and mute it too. So you guys don't have to hear it. And what you're gonna do is actually import that image that I saved to the desktop. And go to desktop, hi. And I'm gonna import it. So it's probably at the bottom. Yeah, there it is. Gonna drag it. Come on, you can do it. Drag it into here. And of course, anytime you drag in an image, it's gonna be in that Ken Burns effect, so. Let's go ahead and fix that. We're gonna make it fit. And then we're gonna go into the video overlay settings and change it to picture in a picture. So now you have a title and you can move that title anywhere you want. You can resize it, put it anywhere you want. So let's put it next to the chicken, I guess. <laughs> so. Actually, let's, let's play it. Probably right here. 
And now we have it saying hi. And we don't actually need it to be that long anyways, you know. So there's also some things you can do with it. You can fade it in, fade it out using the, the toggles here. Or once you highlight it, you can actually, when you're on the picture in a picture settings, there's a couple, well, there's dissolve, zoom, and swap. Swap, I wouldn't even bother using. There's zoom, which kind of makes it come in and out pretty like that. Hey, that's not right. Come on, zoom. Oh, so you have it set for 0, 0.0. So zero, let's do 0 0.5 so you actually see some of it. Okay, let's do that. See, now it zooms in. So you got zoom, and then you can also do um, dissolve, which is what we did initially. So it kind of fades in and fades out based on the time that you put in. And again, you can also con control here. So let's see. Comes in, comes out. So that, that kind of allows you to get around the limitation of, so if we go to titles, you know, you're pretty much, where's the basic one at? There's the basic, basic, basic standard. Let's find a good one. So you have upper, lower, lower third, centered. And if you drag this title in here, you know, it appears. And what customization do you actually have? You have left justified, center justified, right justified, and then kind of like uh, no alignment. So, yeah, I, but then you can't actually move it up and down. You'd have to go switch to a different title, you know, like the lower, the lower right one. You'd have to drop in, and then you'd have the same thing. You have your left justified, your center, and your right, and then no justification. And then there's a, you know, you can find a center one in here, just a generic center one. You have the lower third, of course. That's the same as the lower. And let's see if there's another I can find. I'll just do the standard one. Drop that in here. Now you can, you know, delete portions of it. And of course, you can do the same thing. You got your left justified, your, your right justified. But you can't have, there's no fine detail. You almost have like the top upper third, the middle, and then the bottom lower third. There's no way to get real, really customized with it. But when you make a title as an image and you import it and then you do the picture in a picture, you can actually, you know, move that bugger wherever you want. Okay. So some of the, the, the programs you could use, I mean, if you're, if you have the, the money, you could do Photoshop. If you don't have any money, you can do GIMP, which is free, which I hate. I, I don't even bother downloading and installing my system. Um, Pixelmator is really good. Let me see the, oops, wrong. Let's see the price right now. Actually, it won't show me the price, but I think it's like 20, 30, 20 19, 30 bucks. It's, it's on sale often. So whenever it went on sale, I, I just grabbed it because I know they keep upgrading it. It's turning, you know, better and better. And it's getting dare I say close to Photoshop for you know no money basically and then I think some people on, on YouTube they use um was it PixMonkey Pick Monkey yeah, let's see what it is Pick Monkey is it PIC oh it's Pick Monkey P I C M O N K E Y I I don't use this at all but you can do pretty much everything you need to do for free here with the editing but uh, there's t plenty of tutorials on on uh, YouTube for using that. So if you want to, I prefer not to necessarily f uh, f rely on web software because if I'm at an airport and there's no Wi-Fi, or you know I'm somewhere where I can't get a connection, I want to be able to at least do something. So having the you know having Pixelmator on my desktop is a, a good thing, and for the price, you know, it's definitely worth it. And they keep adding new and new cool stuff, so it's getting better and better. So 
Okay, so let's go over basically what we did again. Wrap it up. Let me get rid of all this crap here. So what I did was I made an image in, in an editing software that was transparent, and I put some text on it. And remember, you could do this with anything. You can do it with you know clouds with text in it, some blow-up balloons with text in it. You can do it text only. You can do colorful text, whatever you want. And then you just you import it as a you know as an image and once it's imported you drag it to the top and you switch to the picture in a picture mode under the video overlay settings icon right here you go picture in a picture and once you do that you have complete control of it you know complete control put it anywhere you want you can make it as long or as short as, as you want. You're limited to what it can do. You have the dissolve and the zoom. If you don't want any dissolve at all, you just make it 0, 0.0. And it just comes in and goes out. Boom. And then goes up. Boom. You know, but up to you. Again, like anything using iMovie or Final Cut or... or uh, Pixel Mate or Photoshop. You're using, you know, you think creatively. Use your creative juice to see what you can get going out there. Okay, I hope that answers the question. And um, there'll be more tutorials as I think of any or as questions come up. But for now, I think that'll take care of this one. Again, thanks for watching. Make sure you mash that subscribe button, comment, share on the socials, the Twitters, the Facebook, wherever you can share. And if you feel like supporting me, there's a link to Patreon down in, in the description. You can throw me a couple bucks and uh, maybe you can help me upgrade my old, old, old Power MacBook Pro. It's almost five years old. Unbelievable. I need to get something new. Maybe I'll just get a new Mac Mini. But if, if you know, if you guys feel the need, you got a little extra cash, throw me a couple bucks through the Patreon link down there. I'll, I'd be very much appreciative. Okay, thanks a lot. Peace, and we'll talk to you next time.